Let's talk about while loops in UiPath. The while um, is found under activities, we can search for it and we'll drag it in here. We can see that the while loop consists of a condition here, a VB expression and then a body. Uh, the, the intuition is that the, as long as the condition is met, then the body will run. So we can have it like a counter, we could uh, press Ctrl K and we could uh, declare a variable called int count. And we could um, say that this condition is that whenever the int count is less than or equal to 10, then this while loop, uh, the body will run. We will just change the variable down here to an integer like this. Um, so now we have to figure out what, what to put in the body. However, uh, let's say that we don't change the int count um, at any time in the body, then this loop will just run on un an unlimited amount of times, which is not very clever because then we'll create an unlimited robot which will never end, and um, yeah, that's quite stupid. So we need to have some sort of a, a, um, a sign activity here which will add to the int count, so at some point uh, the int count will be greater than 10. So in the end of the body, we will have an assign. We'll drag that in. And that will be like the int count will be equal to int count plus one, which means that we will just add one to the int count every time this body will run. And it will start at zero, so um, at in 10 times it will uh, have reached uh, number 11. Actually, it's 11 times, it will reach number 11, and then the condition is not met, and it will move on. So uh, what will we do here? We could, uh, just for the example, we could write a right line here. We could drag that in. And we could write something like, uh, this is run number. And then we will put in our variable, like the in count here. And we will remember to um, convert it to a string like this. So just to sum it up, we will have our while loop here and uh, we will have the in count. Um, and whenever the condition is met, it will write a line here, which, uh, which says this is run number and then the actual in count number. And then uh, at the end of the loop, we will add one to it. And then the loop is finished, we could write something like um, the loop is finished. I mean, we'll just search for that. Write line here. Outside the loop, we'll just write oh, finish. Have a good day. Like this. We'll save it and we'll try to run it. <coughs> we'll just wait a bit. UI path uh, starts up here and it finished. Let's go down to the output and we can see that at first, uh, since we don't declare the default value to the count, then uh, it will start at, at zero and then it will, uh, yeah, this is run number zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then whenever, when the condition, with, with the last run, the in count was 10. And then at the last one, it added one to it, so it was 11. And then the condition was not met anymore, so we'll move on to the right line. I hope that makes sense. Let's make another example where we can really see why it's important to have a max count on the while loop. So I'll just delete this while, delete this one. Then um, this example will be an input dialog which asks the user for a uh, number between 1 and 10 and then the while loop will evaluate if that number was over 10 and then run some sort of activity. So uh, we will search for an input dialog here, we'll drag that in. The title could be number game. And then the label could be write in a number between one and 10. We'll have uh, the output stored as our, our number. So control K, call that int, and yeah, let's just call it number like this, and we will um, store it as an integer. Now we will um, 
let's say that uh, the user writes in a number like 11 or 1000 or 1 million, then we will uh, have a while loop, drag it in here, and the condition is that if the number is uh, greater than 10, then something uh, has to be done here because then the number is too big and it doesn't uh, fit in the range. So we will have another input dialog because we need to have the user uh, to type in the right number. So this could be number uh, game, do it again or whatever. The label could be uh, your number uh, and then the actual, we could write in the actual number, the int number here to string because we'll be writing a string uh, plus uh, was too big. Write in a number between 1 and 10, please, like this. And then we'll store uh, the output again as uh, int number uh, like this here. So let's say that uh, let's try to run this and see uh, what problems we can run into. So we'll just click 15. We don't uh, really understand this. Well, our number was too big. Click 15 again. Um, let's click 20. You can see that now we created essentially an unlimited loop, uh, uh, not unlimited, but close to unlimited loop if the user doesn't understand that he has to uh, put in a number between 1 and 10. So yeah, you can see this could be a problem. And especially like this might not be the most difficult case, but if uh, the condition or um, the thing was way more complicated, then we essentially yeah created this unlimited loop, which we want to avoid. So we'll stop this. And um, we will uh, make some sort of a max uh, counter. So we'll introduce a uh, count variable like before. Call that int count. We'll make an integer and uh, it will be in our whole sequence. That's okay. And then um, what we want here is that uh, we want uh, the int count starts at zero. We could uh, make it start at one if we wanted. Uh, that's fine. But um, we want to make an AND condition here. So we want um, the count variable. We, 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 we might want to run this like, let's say, five times for the example. So we'll make an AND here. And the uh, second condition will be that the uh, int count is less than or equal to five. So you'll see now it doesn't do anything because uh, the end count is just uh, nothing and uh, it will just run over and over. So we need to have an addition to the end count. So uh, for that, we'll make an assign, drag it in uh, in the end of the while loop, and then we'll uh, put in an end count and it will, we will just add one to it uh, like this. And now it will work. Let's try it. And we could uh, have a um, could have an, something like here, like ending the sequence, but we don't really want that. We'll just uh, yeah, run it. And let's say that we just put in um, a wrong number every time. 11, 11, it's 2, that's 3, it's 4, 5. And then the 6 uh, is the last run. Remember that we started at uh, 0. Sorry, we will be the last run. Um, and now it's it was uh, it was done because we had the uh, the first one as well. So this one run it ran one time, and then uh, this uh, loop ran six times. That was seven. So that's it, and it shows you why it's a good idea to have a some sort of a, a roof over the run while a while loop uh, can run. That's it for now. Bye.